What's up, AUBG? I'm Sailor. And I'm Victoria, and we'd like to welcome you to The Purple. One of the yummiest events at AUBG happened last week. That's right, guys. We're talking about the International Week's Food Festival. The Kazakh clove, the Ukrainian borscht, and the American apple crisp were some of the yummy dishes. If you were unfortunate enough to miss out, we've got some of the mouth-watering details for you now. Until now. Are you in a relationship? Have you kicked your roommate out for a little bit of privacy? Here's a story that will let you know just how happy your roommate is with you. Let's take a look. So here we are right now on our first secret mission. We're going to try to get as much as information we can about people who are in a long relationship. We're going to try to interview their roommates, but without informing them that they're actually interviewed. All the girls standing in the line for the bathroom. All the girls standing in the line for the bathroom. All the girls standing in the All the girls standing in the All the girls standing in the line for the bathroom. Yeah. You know, it's been a minute since I'm... Okay, it working? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, okay, so how's it going? Um, great, thank you. What's happening in, in the room? What has your room been? Alona? Yeah. The thing is that they are most, almost, almost everywhere together. And even in the musical, they're together. They dance together. They're like the couple, you know? A lot of people say that they are a good-looking couple. So does that mean that they sleep together? Like most of the times? Yeah. Any awkward situation like that, you're coming from the room and you're finding them, I don't know, having love, sex maybe? Oh uh, no, not them. Um, just that they're bad, it would make such a weird noise all the time they turn, you know, and <laughs> I would just know each time they would move or something. 
The guys who are upstairs, they definitely enjoy each other <laughs> every night, <laughs> night and day. <laughs> yeah. So guys, today is Friday, it's 11. I have an appointment with Seva, and I really hope he'll tell me something about Roma and his girlfriend Olya. Yeah. So yeah, let's watch what we'll have. Что вообще, как там Рома? Да неплохо, поживает вот с девушкой со своей. То есть, ну, Все, как не надоедает. Сколько я, я тоже жил с румейтом, с девушкой, и это иногда бывает ужасно. Нет, нормально, то есть, э, как бы, вначале они часто были у нас, то есть, как бы, ну, хохочет, валяется там, то есть, ничего такого, а сейчас так вообще почти не вижу Рома. Было так, что да, он меня попросил, я как бы знал, что мне, ну вот, не надо, ну как бы, мне это не составило проблем, то есть я наоборот. Да, но это было как бы в начале, то есть я даже был более такой в этом плане суппорт. Я говорю, мне бы было пофиг, если бы они оставались, то есть, видимо, тут уже сама, как это, сама Оля уже ее отношения, то есть, видимо, ей легче, чтобы он у нее оставался, чем если она будет оставаться у него, может, ей не это как стесняется. А так, чтобы галстук весили там или какие-то полотенца, нет, такого не было. Do they spend a lot of time in the room? Um, not really. They might. They might stay a couple of nights. The guy she is dating is my friend as well. It wasn't like I'm. You know, hey, nice to meet you. This is my boyfriend. When it was like about three or four a.m. in the morning, I think I forgot about the fact that I really don't go to bed till like five. But I was in my bed because I was usually in my bed, but I just don't sleep at that time. And I just don't know. I'm either listening to music or just super can't fall asleep. And I thought I was already asleep. And obviously at that time it was kind of like, you know, for them it would be embarrassing if I would just stop in the middle of the night and say something like, you know, just go get a room. They wouldn't do anything that would just basically cross the line. I think I got lucky with that, so it's cool. Yeah. What is that? Uh, is it is my phone? Are you saying, is that what I, is it my phone? See, no. Like, no, it's not. See, it's just no, come on. I mean, what? See, is that a camera? No, what? No. Okay, yeah, no. Seriously, no, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, millions auditioned. Our experts voted. And now we'd like to present to you the one, the only, AUBG's Got Talent. The search for a superstar. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Julio. And I'm Maria. Right here, right now, we're going to have our American Idol show in Blagojevgrad. We stumbled upon some amazing local talents and we're going to present you our participants. The first performance was amazing. I, I am personally a huge fan of Sergei's work. I think he was brilliant. I think he's a great entertainer and uh, I, I, give him, I give him 10 points. It's like it reminds of Indian songs when they have like scale out of 24 degrees and she goes like ah. The performance of Nur Sultan. Oh my god, I loved I loved the choice of song. Well, 
just a standpoint of view of a um, rock musician. Man, it was progressive. Just gave a taste. I don't know the melody, but it was so original. <laughs> I was astonished by this performance. It was amazing. It totally broke the fourth wall, meaning it involved the audience. I'm going him. He's deserved four points. I'm pretty sure this guy will score better than four if he had some chicks in like in the scenery. One of the things that surprised me was that super original chick, which was like doing the crap thingy, like in her shortest skirt. What do you call a person who knows two languages? Bilingual. What do you call a person who knows three languages? Trilingual. What do you call a person who knows one language? I don't know, what? An Hey guys, are you aware that AUBG's Harlem Shake is taking over YouTube? The 30 second video featuring your fellow AUBGers is sweeping the web. The idea is simple. An average crowd goes about their day as one person randomly dances in the middle. And then the beat drops. <laughs> Terrorista. They do the Harlem shit.